Hey everyone, this is Gus. Welcome to my new uh, video about Mao Serakawa. Well, Mao Serakawa is this, this is a uh, little mouse, which is also running. And you can be right now, I'm doing the inking. Well, in my last um, um, delivered, I did the, uh, the pretty much the sketch. Now I'm doing the the video. Uh, well, I, actually, I'm doing the video of the inking. So what you're just uh, watching right now is me doing the inking. Why am I doing voicing off instead of live? Well, because I did live before. And that happens that my microphone cable just went nuts. And I was unable to check because I never use like a monitor, which I should use from now on, but uh, I totally forgot. Playing on me. Well, anyway, this is Gus. My name, my name is Gus Duenas. I'm a professional illustrator, and what you are watching right now is a drawing with us. I'm doing the inking and I'm using Click Studio Paint. Click Studio Paint is a program that you can find at Celsius.com, and I'm gonna show you that in a. Okay, this is Click Studio Paint. This is the program that I've been using all this time. So, what you're watching right now is the program that I've been using the last five years. Let's set it. And this is program is super reliable. It's a program that I've been using for the, for the comics, illustrations, for anything. You don't need to be a manga artist in order to use Click Studio Paint. As you can see, there is a various versions of Click Studio Paint. And it's only $49.99. Well, that is the Pro version, the Click Studio Paint Pro version. If you want to go for the Click Studio Paint Pro EX, the one that uses for manga, manga, webtoons, and animations, well, you can pay a little more, it's like $200. There is a link for the Click Studio Paint, and at the end of this, uh, the description of the video, and you can see there, just go, watch it, download it actually, and dive in. It's super easy, it's super cool. It's the one I've been using all this time. And also, if you buy right now any single version of Click Studio Paint, you will have the version 2, which is the upcoming version in March, totally free. So you can have for the, you know, the new version. That is something that I have to pay because I didn't do that this year. The good thing about Click Studio Paint is just one time buying. Once you buy it, it's your forever. So you can just go and do unlimited updates, which is not, you know, that much of the possible with other programs. For example, with Photoshop, if you want to go for the, let's say, uh, the, the monthly version, it's like 20 bucks per month. I mean, three months of Photoshop pay you easily forever or click to your pay. So you can just go right now, click in there, and just dive in. Try out, and you see what I'm talking about. It's so easy, it's so cool. You can use it with your vacuum, or with do whatever brand or flavor of the video tablet you have. So let's go and let's do it. It has tons of materials, tons of brushes, and everything is for free. Well, let's go back to the video.
As you can see, guys, I'm right now. I'm still doing the inking. Well, the inking is gonna take a little, but the good thing about the inking is that right now we are giving this kind of texture. You know, we are doing the line art. And let me tell you something, for the next steps, if you are doing the inking, please don't let any kind of open points. I mean, no open pixels. So these open pixels, you will see why you don't need it at the end, okay? Right now, this is the way our mouse like I was looking. So, uh, so far is this. Okay, let's continue.
Okay, what I'm doing now? Well, right now I'm doing this appearance of um, death. What is that? Well, exactly. We are using uh, ticket black lines to separate the objects between them. So you will see that these objects are not a part, of, let's say, of the Mao Serakao uh, kimono. So uh, the kimono is not a part of Mao Serakawa head. So, uh, the katana is not part of Mao Serakawa kimono or hands. The same with the vase and the same with the others. So what we are trying to achieve with this? Well, it's super easy. We're trying to achieve this appearance of death, that these objects have three-dimensionality instead of being like a plain objects. So that's what we are doing with these black lines. That technique is being used for many illustrators for now. And uh, not only for the like draws, draws on all these guys, but they're pretty much for any kind of illustrator that is giving you classes, let's say in Udemy, Domestica, etc. So you can find this kind of ideas all over the internet. So I, I'm not sure exactly where it develops or where it starts, but this is the way we, we do things right now. So once we finish with these black lines, we can just finish our line art, as you will see in a minute. Now you remember when I tell you that you don't need to left any single pixel open? Because we're doing that. We're just creating a mask. I know there is an easier way to create a mask, but for me, that's the easier way. I'm creating a mask. I'm creating like a, a, a little outline, pretty much in white color, or the mouse that I call a figure. So I'm going to put that behind it, and then uh, we, we were just, you know, a star doing our flats and the colors just on top of that. 
So we can isolate the character for whatever the background we are going to make. So right now we are creating the flats. So for the flats, so we are gonna put some a click layer below, which is in the controls of the click seal pane. So you create a new layer, you put it a click layer below to the mask. So the mask will dictate the limit of it. So you will start painting the flat. You don't need to paint the flax like perfect because I'm a little lazy for that, but you will paint the flax in a, in a more comfortable way for you. So uh, what I'm doing is just painting the flats. I'm gonna paint the flats for Mao Sarakawa skin, kimono, under kimono, the pants, the uh, the socks, katanas, etc. This is something, guys, that I'm gonna make you notice. Do you see the uh, the eyedropper, the new one, and click the paint? It looks pretty much like the eyedropper in Photoshop. That means you can find like uh, the intermediate point between one color and another color. 
which is like Photoshop is doing. And I like it. That is, that it looks so cool.
Well, now we are finishing our mouse at Akawa. We're just finishing painting the, you know, the socks, the sanda. We have the katanas. We have the different elements. Already we pick flat colors. So next week we will start, you know, doing the the more uh, precise painting. We will start doing uh, shadows and probably lights, adding some texture and uh, a little more of flavor to this guy. Right now it looks like a shell, um, uh, I mean like a cell shade, something that you use for anime. Thank you so much, guys. See you next week.